I've got two things to paint in this video. One pretty small and one bigger. This is the second video in the Birdhouse Project playlist. Like in that first one, I'm just reusing a birdhouse that I had built years ago for our rental property. When I replaced the fence out there, I decided to keep the birdhouses mounted along it for use on our homestead. This barn birdhouse needs a little TLC. Although I like the look of a weathered barn, the red isn't precisely the same red as we have for our chicken coop and our buck shelter out there. The woodshed out here isn't the right red either. And it also needs a lot of TLC. I've already done some of the prep work out here. I've scrubbed off cobwebs and I've scraped off dead ivy vines as well as some of the peeling paint. I shoveled out dirt from around the base so I can actually reach with my paintbrush everything that I need to paint. There was also a bunch of firewood in the back that I've temporarily moved out of the way. Our woodshed really isn't in very good shape. A lot of the siding, especially around the base, is just rotting away. I'll give you a quick look. What we're doing out here is putting lipstick on a pig. But at least it'll be the right shade of lipstick. The bottom trim of this part of the door has been long gone. It rotted away quite a while ago. It'll have to be replaced. Over here on this side, things are even worse. Up in this corner, it's rotted away so much that you can just put your fingers right through it. Because I don't want to go to the trouble of pulling off the siding and completely rebuilding this, I'm just going to reskin it. I've pried off the trim pieces. Those things disintegrated completely as I did that. I've cut and primed already a thin sheet of plywood to just screw on over the whole side. Because the dark trim on the front of our woodshed is going to be a bright white, just like our buck shelter and our chicken coop, I'm going to have to prime it. 
This is the brand of primer that I always use. Anywhere else that there's raw wood or mildew, I'm gonna need to prime as well. I should probably change into some older painting clothes. Hold on. All right, let's get going. primer out there is drying, we can get to work on the birdhouse. I've already cut, primed, and painted a trim piece that was missing from right here, and the perch. I was looking around here for a piece of scrap that I could use for that perch, but I just didn't have any dowels the right size. I ended up just filing the bark off of a little piece of branch and I think I'll like it even better. 
the bird hole has been mangled and I thought about replacing the whole front side, but I think I'll just leave it the way it is. The look of its age, like the woodshed out there, is well earned. Like that woodshed, it'll be freshly painted, but still weather beaten. This isn't a how-to video, but the construction of the birdhouse is fairly simple with just boards screwed together and the trim pieces tacked on with little nails. You can probably figure out how to build something like this yourself just by watching me take it apart. We'll get back to the birdhouse in a little while. I've already done the tedious work of painting the semi-gloss trim work on the front, as well as cutting in with the new red around that trim. You might be wondering, where are my drop cloths and the masking tape and paper to help keep things clean and sharp looking? Painting outside, I really don't care if a few drops of paint get on the ferns or on the bark mulch, and I've been disappointed in the past with how well masking edges ends up looking. For me, it's just a lot easier to just paint very carefully and then go back in with a really fine brush and touch up any mistakes later.
This one is fully painted. And so is this one. To keep the video moving along, I thought I'd skip showing me paint multiple layers of the same paint color over each other. I'm really pretty happy with how it came out. For the birdhouse, I still need to do a little bit of work to mount the perch. I'm gonna have to disassemble it a little bit further. When that's completely done, I'll mount it on the buck pin fence, but it's getting a little bit late. So I'll probably wait until tomorrow to do that. This mending plate was really overkill and unnecessary, and it was in my way to be able to attach the perch. Look at this. We're right on the cusp of fall. I'm glad to have been able to paint the shed while we still have this warm, dry weather to work with. I held off painting it until we had most of the storm damage out here taken care of. It just seemed a little impractical and unnecessary when I had so much else to do first. Having the birdhouse and all the other structures out here match really does feel good to me though. I've already screwed in some mounting brackets for this birdhouse. So now all I have to do is screw the birdhouse to it. Thanks for watching, and if you like our channel, please subscribe.